Hey you guys, John again, Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Got another vehicle spotlight for you. This is a 2012 Chevy Silverado 1500. This one is a four wheel drive. It's got the two inch front level on it. And then we went 18 by 10, negative 24 motor metals, but a 285-65 R18, which is basically a little smaller than a 33, 12 and a half. We'll get into all the details. Let's go. Hey, Hey guys, like I said, we got this 2012 Silverado 1500. This thing's got a two inch level, which is pretty typical. So, you know, you can have the different size levels. This one is a true level. So with the front end coming up two inches, you'll see that it's pretty much perfectly level. And then what he did for wheels and tires, these are the 18 by 10, negative 24. They're the Modal Metal 970s. And you can see it's got all the machine face on it. So it's a really good wheel. A lot of guys are running these when you see chrome. So he's added quite a bit of chrome, I'll show you. But that's when they're typically using that, uh, that machine face wheel. 18 by 10, negative 24, you know, Moto Metal goes for that big lip. So even on a 10 wide, that's like a four and a half, almost a five inch lip. So it's got a big old lip on that wheel uh, for a 10 wide. And then for tires, he didn't want to get into some crazy Norkel trimming. So what he went with are these Mastercraft uh, Corsair MXTs, and then he did a 285-65 R18. So what that equates out to is it's about 32 and a half tall, so about a half inch shorter than a 33, and then it's only 11.2 wide versus a 12 and a half. So a lot of times we see 33, 12 and a half, that would have took a full NorCal. By doing the 11.2 and a 32 and a half, you can see that we did a basically what's called a, a mini NorCal. So rather than removing a ton of material, you just pull that flap out and you basically mash it back, making room, and then tuck the liner back to create that clearance. And then up front, didn't even have to do a lot of trimming. Mario, just look up at this fender here. You'll see that basically what he was able to do is tie wrap it and pull it forward and it's not hitting. And there wasn't any trimming to be done on the bumper and just a little bit of a, a tailoring of that front uh, air dam shroud so that doesn't hit. So that's the fitment now. And the reason he went with that little bit smaller is he still wanted that stance. Cause if you look down the side of this thing, Mario, you'll see he's sticking out, you know, inch and a half. So it's got that cool aggressive look, but it's not way out there where it took a huge amount of trimming. And then for the rest of it, he's got the Chrome Stampede bug deflector. You can see he went with a Chrome bull bar. And then we just threw on a 20 inch light bar for him. And then up here, he did the Stampede window visors again in chrome. And then he's got the chrome step-up tubes, with their, which are the uh, Raptor series. So you can see it's that big oval style tube. A lot like the um, 14s, 15s are coming with him stuck. And then he's got the ARE truck topper, custom painted to match. And that's pretty much it. So. The factory bumpers are chrome, and that's why I said when he added a couple more pieces of chrome and then went with that machine face wheel, he's kind of carrying that chrome look, but he can still run those year round without being worried about uh, corrosion with chrome. For interior, you can see he did uh, seat covers. Looks like they're the um, pretty form fitting style that actually do tuck down inside. But that's pretty much it. They cover it all, Mario. This is this is Mario's first time filling in for Junior, so we've got some guys shifting around. We've got some new shows coming out for you guys. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you uh, post and like, comment. Let us know what you think. Gonna be changing up. We've got a new series coming out, The Builder. We hope you guys love it. So make sure you subscribe. Peace.